Hi there! Welcome, friend, to the Fast Science Learning, Learning Boutique. Boutique. Yeah, I know, I, I was here last week. Remember? Asking about vaccines? This is part two of the video? Oh, right. Sorry, I, I didn't recognize you. You didn't recognize me. So, where were we? How does a vaccine really work, and why do I need to get it again? And why you can't get a vaccine for the cold, and are they really good or bad for right. you? Yeah, it's all coming back to me now. Last time you said that a vaccine is sort of like wanted posters for the police force of your body. Well, forget that. You're a week older now, we're gonna go for the really complicated explanation. Great. Are you ready? I'm ready. It's all about chemistry. And chemistry is all about... Duplo. Nope. I changed it. See? That's mega blocks. Really? You're going in the wrong direction. Those are even bigger than Duplo. But they aren't even part of the Lego brand. Okay, okay. Would you let it go this time? Okay. I'll let it go. But it's going to be really difficult. <sighs> All right, well, you remember how chemistry works, right? What if I need a refresher? Well, then the video will be linked in the comments. All right, then I remember. Okay, well, viruses and how your body fights them are all about proteins. Proteins? Yeah, little chains of molecules on the outside of the cells. Okay. And they all have different shapes, like this. Yeah. Say that this is the protein on the outside of a bad guy's cell. Okay. What your body needs to do is create a cell that recognizes it. Huh? See? Perfect fit. So that's how my body fights infection. Yeah. So how does a vaccine work? By introducing your body to cells that have that shape. How? Well, a bunch of different ways. Sometimes it's a live virus, but a really weak one. Like the example of the cowpox from the last video. Yeah. Or it's a virus that's dead, but still has the right shape. Or a virus that can't make any more of itself. Like, um, like, uh, like a, a seedless orange. Huh? Well, if it doesn't have seeds, it can't make an orange tree. Oh, yeah. Good analogy. I never would have thought of that. You... Well, I... Well, isn't this a metaphysical paradox? Anywho, so the virus is introduced to your body, and your body learns the shape. So if the real virus ever shows up, it already knows how to fight. And how long do those cells last in the body? Depends. Sometimes, forever. Sometimes you need to get a booster every once in a while so your body can remember what to look out for. And my body can do all of this even though the virus is dead? The virus doesn't even matter. Only the proteins matter. What? And that's not even the coolest part. Okay, so you know the COVID virus? Never heard of it. Really? No, obviously I know the COVID virus. Okay. So it's a spiky ball, right? Yeah. Well, all your body needs is the spikes, the proteins. It doesn't even need the whole ball itself. Huh. So that's what's in the COVID vaccine? No, it's even cooler. You see, the COVID vaccine is basically a set of instructions that tricks your body into making those proteins for a bit. Wait, my body makes the proteins? Yeah, and then your immune system learns those proteins and makes antibodies to fight them. So I'm not getting any COVID at all in the vaccine. No. Huh. That's cool. I know, right? So what about getting new shots of the same vaccine? Is that just to help your body remember? Sometimes. But there's another thing that happens, which is why you can't vaccinate against a cold and why you have to get a flu shot every year. It's because the virus mutates. It can mutate? Yeah. Every time the virus makes a copy of itself, there's a chance that protein might change a little. How fast that happens depends on the virus. Let's say the chicken pox looks like this. It looks like mega blocks? No, the proteins. Come on, pay attention. Right. Chicken pox looks like this. Your body learns how to fight it. Now the son of chicken pox looks like this. The granddaughter of chicken pox looks like this. A thousand generations of chicken pox, it still looks like this, which means that my body still knows how to fight it. Right. But the cold, it mutates fast. Say that's the cold. There's the son of the cold. There's the granddaughter of the cold. And there's the great grandson of the cold. Yeah. Which means it doesn't fit anymore. Right. Which means you don't have the antibodies anymore. Let me guess, there's not enough time to make a new vaccine before the cold has morphed into something new. Yep. The common flu works the same, but just a little bit slower, which means we can catch it. So let's say that this year's flu looks like this then scientists can figure out that maybe, maybe next year's flu is going to look like this, or it might look like this, or it might look like that. Three different kinds? Yeah, three different strains, or however many scientists think they're going to be that year. So you need to get three different shots? Nope. One vaccine, all the strains scientists think are likely. Did they get it wrong sometimes? Sure, but it's worth trying. So I heard about all these strains of coronavirus. Is, is that the same thing? Yup, 
But if the vaccine is still effective, that means it still works. Hmm. Well, what if there's a strain that it doesn't work against? The coronavirus is like the flu, and scientists are really good at getting ahead of the flu. Great. Well, I'm almost convinced to get my shot. Almost? Well, I heard that vaccines were bad. Right. Well, that's a whole other thing. Like, for another video? Yeah, we should save that for part three. Great. Let's do the shoutouts. Right. This video goes out to Gillis and his dad, Tim, who not only support me on Patreon, but Tim helped me go over the science of this video to make sure I was getting it right. Like with the Lego? Mega Bloks! <gasps> you said it wrong! It's Mega Bloks! Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. did you I see that? Fair you enough. said Lego, and I said Mega Bloks to correct you. Ah. I got it. I, they got that it. That awesome. It really feels good. You got me. Can you just say it again? Lego. Mega Bloks! Ha! <laughs> are, you, are you happy? Yep. Overjoyed.